In those days, computer game coding didn't really seem like a serious uh, career opportunity or activity. So it was just something I did as a bit of fun. But then, then eventually, they did um, sign up and license a couple of games from me. What were the particular challenges of writing a game for the Lynx? Because I think it's, um, it's a bit famous for not having the quickest <coughs> uh, internal bus in the world. Yes, it, 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 it is speed limited. So obviously you had to write in machine code. And um, I didn't really learn Z80 machine code on the Lynx. I'd done quite a bit on the, on the ZX81. So I was familiar with Z80 instructions. And um, the, way, the way that I went about developing this program, which is really the way I've done all problem solving in, in, in engineering since, is don't think about the big picture, just start with something you can do. Let's design some graphics for the invaders. Let's, let's see if we can move them along the screen, you know, erase the previous one, reprint it in the next position. And then once you've done that once, then you do it. Okay, let's, let's have a whole bunch of them and move them one at a time. And then you think, okay, we're right. Now let's build the player. And then you get to the more complicated things like, shooting, moving the bullet up, and then like, how am I going to detect if this hits something? 